His business skills attracted other people around the village. There was this other woman who was not staying far from Mozamai's house, who called Mozamai one day, and she told Mozamai that she spoke with the grandmother, and she wants him to go and sell. Mozamai took the wheelbarrow, and he started pushing the wheelbarrow, selling fruits door to door. People bought those fruits. And when Mozamai finished selling everything, he was given one able as a payment. Mozamai went home and he found out that his grandmother was so angry at him. Because people were asking, are you also selling fruits? We saw Mozamai selling fruits door to door. And she knew nothing about it. And Mutsamai had to explain to his grandmother that the lady told me that she spoke with you and she told me that you said I must go and sell for her. It was one of those situations whereby people were taking advantage. While they were, their children were there, but they chose to speak with Mutsamai and gave Mutsamai things to go and sell on their behalf. Mutsamai's grandmother told him that he shouldn't do that anymore. If there is anybody who wants his service, must come straight to her so that she will give permission and she will tell Mutsamai herself, not people telling him what she said. Mutsamai not was surprised when he was doing great for which was then a two during that time. When the grade four teacher told him to go to her house. She was the principal's wife and she was also a teacher. She lived in a big house, a first brick house. Her house was covered with greenery. There was trees everywhere. She had grass. People didn't have those kind of, you know, things during those days simply because of water was very scarce. So she had a borehole whereby water was not even a problem to her yard. She had a lady who was a helper, a house manager, a cleaner, if I may say, or a domestic worker who worked for her. Nobody knew her children. But people said she had two children and they were overseas. They were studying overseas. But Mutsamai never saw them. All he knows is that this is the house of the principal and also my great four teacher. She told Mutsamai to go to her house alongside the other gentleman by the name of Pete. Pete, he was the oldest student in the class. He kept on failing standard two repeatedly. She told Pete to go with Mutsamai to a house and they will get the message when they get home. It was the first time Mutsamai was going to be in the principal's house. He was so excited. It was 10 minutes before the short break. They went there and when they arrived, the lady who is working as a domestic worker was so excited to see the two young men wearing the school uniform. And she looked at Mutsamai and she said, you must be Mutsamai. And Mutsamai said, yes, I am. He was surprised. Simply because of that was her first time seeing Mutsamai. Or that was the first time Mutsamai ever set foot to that house.